this video is going out by request, I'm going to talk about how I recommend that most of us hook up that external microphone mixer to our DJ systems. This is most of us. Maybe not all of us, but most of us. Most people recommend that you run your computer to your DJ controller slash mixer and then run your output of your DJ controller mixer into your microphone mixer and then run that microphone mixer out to your speakers. That's not how I recommend you do it. Most of us are using relatively cool but budget friendly microphone mixers just to give us more microphone inputs than we might have on our controller, right? We're not running crazy expensive stuff like this Yamaha. It's a little over 200 bucks and it's fine. You can plug two microphones in it and it works real well. But I recommend you run it like this. Computer to DJ controller. Then you take that external microphone mixer and run the output of that through an auxiliary of your controller or mixing board. And then use the outputs of your DJ controller and run those to your speakers. Now that's the quick, easy explanation. I think that's going to work really well for most of us. Practice and enjoy. Some of you want more details though, and here they are. Uh, but before I talk about those, there are some really good arguments to run it the other way, where you run your controller through your microphone mixer and your microphone mixer through your speakers. If you are an audio engineer or you really understand audio and you want things like separate sub control, if you're like mixing a band and you have a real expensive band mixer and you really understand how to use it, maybe the best way to run this is, yeah, run your controller through your external mixer, your external mixer through your speakers. Most of us are not in that position. I think most of us have invested in a nice controller or mixing board. We spent some money on it. Maybe you have a Pioneer or a Denon or a Rain or even a nice Newmark. And part of the reason you got it was because it's got great inputs and great outputs. If you're running a relatively inexpensive Yamaha or Behringer, if you put that in your audio chain, that's the sound you're ultimately getting out of your speakers. Not only that, but you've added something else into the direct audio chain. What's most important to me it's the sound of my music, right? I don't want to put that microphone mixer between my music and my speakers. Don't want to do it. I also believe this is much easier to set up. You can set the volume of your microphones. There's usually a peak light. Once you find that, you back it off and you can kind of leave it there, usually. And then you can control the volume of your microphone mixer with your auxiliary, whatever you use as an auxiliary on your board. Maybe it's a line fader that you're not using. I've got a Pioneer DJM 450 and I have a Pioneer DJM 250 Mark II. And they have these little auxiliaries to the side, kind of above the mic. That's where the dial is. There's no EQ on it or anything. It's just a volume control. That's how I've ran these external microphone mixers. I did one for Tour Source, for Swisher Suites. This thing goes all over the country, all over to rock festivals, all over the place. Has for, I guess, about a year and a half now. And it works really well. It's simple, it's easy to understand. They train like spokes models to run the system that I built. And they're doing just fine with it, how I got it set up. And the sound quality is really nice. I'm using a nice Yamaha mixer, but I believe that the outputs on the Pioneer are cleaner. And like I said, I don't want to put too many things in that audio chain for my music. I want my music to have the best, strongest audio chain possible to the speakers. I feel like I achieved this by running it the way I'm running it. Now, something else I'll mention is I have recommended that several people set up their system like this. Maybe they were running it controller to mic mixer to speakers and they didn't like how it sounded I've recommended they try it my way and they love it it's so much easier it's cleaner and if you watched my video on how to achieve unity gain which I'll put a link to in the description of this video if you set your mixer up like that and then run this through an aux 
you're going to have great sound. Your music's going to sound fantastic. And your mics will sound fine too. There's going to be nothing wrong with the way your mics sound. That's just how I recommend doing it. And that's what I'm going to talk about in the workshop. Yeah, there are cases when you don't have a choice. You have to run your DJ controller, mixer, whatever, through some other mixing board. I've been there in clubs and stuff before. There's no choice. You, you just do it. Unless you are a audio engineer like Ben Stell, and you know exactly what you're doing. You want to achieve something a lot different than just clean output for your music. I'd recommend running it the simple way. Like this. I think you'll like it. Give it a try. And if you've tried my method and you like it, let people know in the comment section. That's it. These technical videos for me are difficult to do sometimes. There's a lot of questions to answer. There will be a lot of questions. And even some people who disagree with what I'm talking about in the comment section, you are always welcome to disagree with me. And anything that I talk about in any of my videos, it's very take it or leave it. This is not a cult. It's not a church. It's not even a collective. It's just one dude trying to help. Found some methods that work well, and I'm sharing them. And that's it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Questions down here as always. Practice and enjoy.